Well, what a fantastic third round of the International GT Open we had. We're joined on the podium by some of the winners. We will start with our overall race winner, Miguel Ramos, who scored a, a brilliant home victory. But Miguel, your stint at the start of the race, very busy with all the safety cars. Yeah, it was quite quiet, so I didn't work a lot because a lot of safety cars, So, but uh, we knew that we had an advantage on the pit, so the safety cars were good for us anyway. The, our, my start was not so good. Uh, I lost two places uh, when we, I was fighting for first position with the uh, uh, number three car. Uh, then we lost both two positions, then I recovered to third place and then just keep the distance to the second to come to the pits. Uh, and Nicky, you took over the race, Nicky Pastorelli taking over the car mid-race and very busy for you, although you had a big lead, lots of traffic to negotiate. Yeah, it, you know, it, it seemed looked very easy, but in the end it was not so easy. Uh, unless you said a lot of traffic, uh, the Ferrari catching me behind, so putting quite some pressure. We were a bit lucky because uh, they had 15 seconds extra in the pits, so for tomorrow we need to work a bit harder, I guess. Which leads to the question, Miguel, can you make it a home double this weekend? We'll try. Eh? Uh, uh, I think we'll try. We will start in pole position. Nick made a fantastic job. So starting first is a big advantage. So it depends on how it goes. And if there is uh, no issues with safety cars, I think we can at least try to win again. It will be, it will be wonderful. So, well, congratulations to our race winners, Miguel Ramos and Nicky Pastrelli in the V8 Racing Corvette. We'll move on to star of the GTS class. And uh, Alessandro Pierguidi, what a start to the race you have, mixing with the Super GTs. Yes, it's a fantastic race. It's, uh, we, our car was very fast and uh, we mixed it with the G Super GT. And uh, at the, at the, when I came into the pit, I was the leading and the GTS close to the Super GT. It was fantastic. And this, we, we did a wonderful job. The team uh, is the first race in GT Open for this team. It's, uh, uh, a new team for this in this year, and uh, we are very happy for the works in uh, in this week, and uh, we'll see tomorrow. Well, congratulations to Alessandro Pierguidi and his teammate Alexei Basov, stars in the GTS class. Move on to another drive combination that got on the GTS podium: Miguel Toril and Jan Seifarth. And uh, Miguel, we'll, we'll start with you. And and the first stint frenetic fighting in the GTS class. It was great to watch. Was it fun for you? Of course, I enjoyed it a lot uh, with uh, the two safety cars. Uh, hopefully I, I could recover, uh, I think, 10 position and that was a very important part for the whole job. And, and after that, Jan has done a stunning sting, which is uh, really very important and a, a very uh, a, a whole part for, the, for, for this finish of the, of the race. Yeah, Jan, we'll move on to you. And, and you took over the car when he's in the midfield to race up right up towards the overall race podium, which is just fantastic. Yeah, well, um, I took over right when the, the window opened. I took over and we put on new tyres uh, because we tried to push really hard. And um, so in the, in the beginning, I stuck a little behind some cars, so I couldn't use the, the new tyres. But in the end, I could catch up so many cars and... Uh, the overall podium was uh, near, so uh, it was quite fun, and uh, it's good to, uh, to score enough points for the GTS. Excellent. Congratulations to Miguel Torrell and Jan Seifarth, and to all the drivers who finished on the podium in the third race of the 2013 International GT Open.